My name is Vaughn Berger and I'm the Dayton Chamber of Commerce President this year. We've got the Strawberry Festival Parade coming up on May 10th, 2014. And so uh, today I'd like to introduce our Grand Marshal, Hollywood TV star Dina Dill. And uh, Dina, can you tell us a little bit about um, your career and growing up in Dayton and uh, what what to expect from the Strawberry Festival this year? Uh, well, I grew up in Dayton, Tennessee, and the Strawberry Festival was always very important to me. It was sort of the centerpiece of my social life. <laughs> I was always very excited when I got to go to the carnival or to the parade, okay. and I can remember literally sitting in my room and crying on the nights that my parents wouldn't let me go to the carnival or go to other festival events. Um, oh, so I just loved it, and I love the sense of community and all the activities and getting to see your neighbors and meet new people when you're out and you're doing the Strawberry Festival. Uh, Dina, how did you get from Dayton, Tennessee to Hollywood, California? That seems like a big jump. Uh, I would imagine our, our students here in town would like to make that jump as well, but how did you do it? Um, it's kind of an interesting path. There were a lot of people in Dayton who helped me when I was in high school. Um, teachers were always very encouraging of all my you know, wacky ideas of, oh, I could go to a big university, or oh, I want to be an actress. We didn't have a theater department at the time. Um, but I had a lot of teachers who were encouraging. Um, I also had a great sense of community at the church and um, was asked to do a couple of church plays, which I loved. Also, a very direct step, um, I need to um, thank Jimmy Cunningham because when we were doing high school pictures and cheerleading pictures for the yearbook, he said that he wanted to enter a photography contest and would I pose for him. And so we went to a cliff and shot some pictures and he entered a photography contest and he won best photo and I won best model. So that was really my very first attempt at modeling and an agent came from that and a couple of jobs came from that. Also, once I got to Hollywood, a friend of mine from Ray County High School was already producing, um, Jimmy Holcomb. Okay. Um, and Jimmy was working for the Documentary Channel and he was interviewing women to host a show for the Documentary Channel. And he called and he said, I'm interviewing all these dumb women who can't walk and talk at the same time. I need someone who knows a little bit about history, who can interview documentary filmmakers. Could you come in and audition? And I did, and I got the hosting job for this show on the Documentary Channel. And then I had some ideas of my own about the show and asked if I could help producing. So Jimmy Holcomb ultimately gave me my very first producing job. All right. And he's from Ray County. And he's from Ray County. He was in my class at Ray County High School. So. Uh, people from Ray County go on and do big and wonderful things, and it's wonderful to have a sense of community that and get a helping hand sometimes from people you grew up with. Dina, can you tell us about some of the projects you've worked on and, and what you're working on right now? I would say I'm best known for being Gibby's mom on iCarly on Nickelodeon, and that's actually been a really fun thing for me because I get to ask to do a lot of children's charity events because of it. Um, also, I do actually get recognized for that one a lot. Like recently I was in an airport um, and a little fella came running up to me and goes, oh my God, you're Gibby's mom. And he started hyperventilating and he literally was so excited that he threw up on me. So that's the kind of celebrity <laughs> status I have. I make people puke. <laughs> well, I've seen you on iCarly, so that's, that's where I know you from. <laughs> Uh, starting actually this Monday night, my character is going to start appearing on a CW show called Star Crossed. Um, I play the mother of one of the main characters. Um, CW, 8 o'clock, 7 central. Over the next several episodes, you learn a lot of secrets about my family and you learn um, that we might be up to, I don't want to say something sinister, but something questionable. Um, and Starcrossed is a sci-fi TV show that is about um, some aliens crashed onto Earth and aliens and humans are trying to get along. Uh, well, thank you again for being here for the Strawberry Festival this year and being our Grand Marshal. Thank you so much for having me. I'm very honored.